So this video is all about uh, JE Mains 2025 session 1. So whoever is going to attend JE Mains 2025, so make sure you watch this video completely. There are few key takeaways from this video which you have to note down and follow so that you get into your dream colleges, right? So before we get in, uh, so for whoever is watching me for the first time, I am Saishram Malayala, a 2023 BTEC Biotechnology graduate from NIT Varangal and I am currently working as a product analyst for an MNC in Gurgaon, right? So talking about this particular video, as I clearly mentioned in the start, so this video is for uh, all my JE aspirants out there. So to continue forward the legacy from where I started. So I started making content for JE, JE students. So uh, that is why I just want to start my 2025 first informative video with this, right? So JE 2025 session one is uh, scheduled from January 22 to January 31st. It's just like 20 days away from now. So what you have to do, there will be like a lot of things running in your minds. So as a parent, if you're watching this video, make sure you talk to your uh, child after watching this video completely and try to uh, share them whatever key takeaways I have mentioned in this particular video so that they will get a lot of benefit out of this particular uh, things which I'm sharing in this particular video. So first point which I want to say is, so make sure you give your session one as a best shot as much as possible. So session one uh, should be your best uh, shot ever. So you should be giving it out of everything like give your 200% into the paper and try to score as many marks as you can in session one itself. So that should be your best shot. The reason I'm saying is so uh, I have seen I have given my exam. I have seen people for four to five years now uh, like usually the uh, even if you increase a lot of marks like 40 marks 30 40 marks the change in percentile is like very less very very less will be less in session two. So that is the reason if you can get good score in session one, it is going to help you and it will also going to help you in further preparation as well. So if you get good score in session one itself, that will make your things clear uh, for your preparation further with either you have to prepare for session two or JE advanced. So basis on this, that will also affect your JE advanced exam. So if you can get good score in session one itself, so you can start preparing for JE advanced from the day you give your exam and from the day you are confident that you have, you are going to get good score right february 13 i believe is uh, the date they are going to announce the results so hope uh, you got uh, i mean you got what, what i'm trying to say so the key takeaway number one is um, try to focus on session one give it as a best shot as possible so that like it going to make the things easier for you further second point would be so in the last uh, 20 days what should be your preparation strategy how you have to prepare yourself so make sure you don't touch any new topics now so that's a really really important that might uh, uh, like uh, demotivate you and uh, slow down your preparation so don't try to touch new topics so first try to segregate all the all the chapters from all the three subjects into three categories easy medium hard and then first try to complete easy first and then medium and coming to hard Try to pick only those where you already have a little knowledge. If you don't have any any knowledge about it and if you like get demotivated based on your experience going through those chapters, don't touch them. So that will slow down your preparation. So this should be your second key takeaway. Don't touch new topics in last 20 days of preparation. So third point would be, I mean, I know most of you are in coaching. If not, it's okay. I'll just talk. So in coaching, usually they conduct exams, right? Like uh, complete um, grand tests, right? So make sure you give it uh, with your full concentration, just like how you're going to give your final exam. And if you're not in coaching, try to uh, buy some test series and try to give some test, uh, give the grand test properly. So with a full con concentration, right? So it shouldn't be like just like Nam Gevas exams. It should be out of full concentration. If you feel like how you're going to give your final exam, just make sure you replicate the same uh, amount of concentration while giving this grand test. So once after the grand test is done, don't just leave the uh, paper aside uh, by seeing the score. So I keep on saying this. This is like really a uh, like game changer uh, thing in your preparation strategy, you know. So once you write the exam, see the score at the same time, make sure just go through the paper. So I asked in the point number two, segregate your chapters from easy, medium, hard, right? So now see whether you have made any mistakes from those easy chapters and medium chapters because there shouldn't be any scope for mistakes or any scope for uh, errors from these two categories since these chapters are in easy in, in your easy and medium category you should never let yourself uh, making mistakes in these chapters so that you are going to capitalize on these chapters for sure right so that is where you have to check if you are doing any mistakes make sure you brush up the things again so that is the 
so almost second point and third point remain similar but second point is about preparation and third point is about uh, analyzing from your mistakes so that is key thing which i want to say any question you are committing mistake uh, are from the hard category chapters so then see if you can uh, try to reduce attempting those questions the, the reason is since this this question is has come from those chapters where you have marked it as a hard category and you are attempting it and you are making mistakes so it's giving you a negative score so that's why what i would say is if you see any questions from your uh, hard category chapters read the question think uh, yourself whether you can solve this question or not if you solve it whether you will get it right or not so if you if one person if you feel that are if i try this i may get it wrong then don't attempt that question is what i would say so and never go go with the ego right how come this and how come i can't solve the solve this question or get this answer i will make sure i'll get answer out of this question is not something you have to never go through the ego while writing the exam okay so i hope you are clear so the th third key takeaway from this particular video would be so try to analyze from your mistakes and make sure you never commit or uh, there should mean be any scope for error in easy and medium chapters from your uh, like segregation of easy medium and hard chapters right so for all the three subjects it should be for all the three subjects so this this way you like you will brush up your uh, easy and medium chapters and make sure you will make sure that you don't commit any mistakes there at least right so that's uh, that's all guys so i wish you a very all the best if you still have any questions do let me know in the comment section i'll go through your comments and try to make some videos out of it either it in a short videos or long form of videos so uh, all the very best for your uh, je means session 1 2025 so i am here to help you guys make sure uh, you reach out to me either uh, via youtube comments or either via email or either via instagram or wherever it is possible for you just reach out to me i'll try to help you out guys in whatever way i can chalo that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one till then thank you bye bye jai hind